Big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. We're making a barbecue bacon bones. Let's go. This is one of those recipes that you must try. It is easy to make, it is fun to make, you can get everybody involved and when you're done. <laughs> and it's very easy and cheap of course because it's made out of chicken. This is two kilograms of drumsticks. And all I need to do is take off the skin, remove the meat from the bone, and then I end up with a clean bone and a slice of meat. Then I'm going to take the fillet and put it in the meat grinder. Now, of course, you can ask your butcher to do this for you, separate the bones from the meat, but it's so easy to do. You can do it too at home. Now we have minced chicken from the first grind. It's time to add an egg. Then I'm going to add three tablespoons of breadcrumbs. That's a little bit more, around 75 milliliters of breadcrumbs. And two tablespoons of the Pitmaster X barbecue chicken rub. Now you can find our recipe for that on pitmasterx.com. And then I'm going to mix this up and put it in for the second grind. That will make it extra smooth and nice and sticky. Then I want to do a final mixing, making sure that it's sticky enough because I want a consistency where I can make a golf ball and that it will stick together. Now, if you look at this, it is already sticky, but I need it to be a little bit firmer. So I'm going to add a few more breadcrumbs. And when it becomes more dry, it becomes a lot more like a dough consistency. Those breadcrumbs will soak up the moisture and that's the whole idea behind it. What we are going to do now is we're going to take a little bit of that dough and see how sticky that is. It's now holding on to my fingertips. If I go like this, it's not falling apart or almost not falling apart. And then I'm going to take this and roll it up into a real meatball. Then you're going to take a bone like that and push that bone into the meatball. And then fold the meatball over it. There you go. Make sure that the bone is still visible. Tap it a little bit so that the joint connects real good and the meat has the same thickness throughout. And then what you want to do is take some bacon and wrap the bacon around the chicken. Of course, we're going to do two slices of bacon if we can. And <laughs> we can. And then we're going to make a couple of these. Look at how good these look. <laughs> they will light up any party. But now first, we need to get cooking, so I'm gonna fire up my barbecue. Through the rain, walk on through the storm, and you'll never grill alone. You like the music? It's free. We need some charcoal, man. It's right here, briquettes. I'm just gonna put some briquettes in. Yep, a couple of them will do. And scrape those briquettes to one side. Chuck in a couple of fire starters. Just put these up, stick them in underneath. Do you see these briquettes? Do you see these little chunky bits right there? It's like chocolate chippy cooks, chocolate cookie chips. The smoke wood is already in these briquettes. Isn't that brilliant? It's two in one. Light them up and wait for the briquettes to ignite. Fire starters are burned up. Time to put the grill grates in. And I'm gonna set them on the highest position. Now I'm gonna give it an opportunity to warm up the grill grates so we can clean them up a little bit. And then the barbecue bacon bones can go on. Now I'm gonna set the temperatures a little higher than I would normally with smoke. So I'm gonna aim for a temperature of around 150 degrees Celsius, which means I'm gonna keep that top vent completely open. And I'm going to set the bottom vent to about two clicks open. Of course, oops, wrong side. Of course, I'm going to make our now ultra popular Tweety barbecue sauce. Make sure you pick up one of these Scottsburg pans, warm it up over the fire, put in half a cup of ketchup, half a cup of chili sauce, two tablespoons of rum, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, and a tablespoon of Tweety barbecue rub. While stirring, let that come up to a boil and it's done. See how easy that is? Wow, look at the beautiful barbecue bacon bones. We got the smoke color on, 
It's time to sauce them up. Smoke color means smoke flavor. Why wait any longer? Let's get the sauce on, the delicious Tweety barbecue sauce. I want to only get the bacon, not the bones, just to make it look pretty. Put in all the effort, now we want to finish off strong. This is what you need to make on your barbecue this year. Come on, tell me that doesn't look delicious. And after 20 minutes of smoking, saucing, it's now time for 10 minutes of more smoking. But the goal is not really smoking again. The goal now is to get that sauce to dry up a little bit and get sticky on the outside. Then they're done. And then if they look like this, you know they are done. Isn't that magical looking? But the magic is the sauce really dried up, got sticky on the bacon. Just think about it. You're having a party with some friends over and you serve them this up. The greatest snack of all times. Let me explain why this is the greatest barbecue snack for a party ever. You got the bone, you got the handle, so you got something to grab it onto and then you bite into it. Mm. Like that, they're getting juicy meat. Oh, all that flavor packed into one. It just is easy to eat, tastes great, and you can make plenty of these for your friends to share around. So, barbecue bacon bones. You've seen it here first. Look at that. Clean off the bone. Clean off the bone is not his bone. No, no. It, yes, it is his bone. It's his friend's bones mixed together. You never grew. Alone.